Well, that's funny. Oh, guys, that's really funny. So you don't probably know where I live, but I live in a in a pretty small county, and I live at the end of a very long driveway, and I'm like at the end. So my mom is about halfway, and then my sister is there, and then you come all the way, like way down into nowhere, and that's where I am. Nobody comes to my house unless I know they're coming. <laughs> so it was really surprising see a box truck showing up at my house. Usually, actually, when people are coming to my house, they will get mixed up and they will go to my mom or my sisters and um, then they have to redirect. So that was super funny. So anyway, okay, back to where we were. So they were looking for my sister. Um, yeah, I just wanted to get on today and I wanted to talk to you about the power that we have as human beings to change our situations has a lot, there are many, many factors, right? But one of the most important ones is acknowledging that there is no, there truly is no us and them. There is no separation. We are all part of the same source. We are all, we all come from the same place. And when we can begin to treat our, it's just so, it's two part game, right? It's treating others, you know the saying, treat people as you would be treated yourself. But when you treat others with love and when you treat yourself with love, it's the same. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And a lot of us have an illusion in our head that if we treat, that, that it's a, it's a, there's a payoff, right? Or that there's a sacrifice. I don't even believe in sacrifice. It's not even a thing because, because we're all one. So you can't sacrifice one part and not hurt the other. And so you have to, when you value yourself, when you take care of yourself, it is the same as taking care of your child. When you take care of your child, it is the same as taking care of, um, of, of you. And so someone, a good, um, a great mentor of mine, uh, Rachel Archelea said one time, and, and it really hit home to me, you know, what's good for you is good for everyone. What's good for you is good for everyone. When you take care of yourself, it is good for all of the people in your life. And we have, like I said, we have a lot of illusions in our head. Like, well, my baby needs this, my child needs this, my partner needs this, my boss needs this, my, my, my employee needs this, right? And that I need to sacrifice me for that person. No, because when you cannot sacrifice one for the other, if you're sacrificing, you're sacrificing, you're sacrificing, end of story. You cannot sacrifice and expect the other person to get something, right? It just doesn't work. I know that doesn't make much logical sense and may not make any sense in your brain, but trust me on this. You need to make sure that you are on the list, you are on your list, and that you are tending to your list and you are tending to yourself and you are giving yourself grace and you are letting yourself rest and you are letting yourself have needs and desires and wants and that you are giving generously to yourself. Um, because, because, because if you don't give generously to yourself, no one else will. And if you can't give generously to yourself, you really can't give generously to anybody else. We all know those sayings, you know, fill up your own cup, put on the oxygen mask first, give from the overflow, right? So if you're not on the list, I am today, put yourself on your own list, do something for yourself, make sure you're taken care of. All right, so that is my message today. I love you. I apologize for the interruption. I will be back next week. As always, if there's something else that you wanted to talk about or would like to hear about, just throw me a comment or send me a message, and I'm happy to chat about it. If you ever want to pop on and chat live, we can do that during Lunch with a Magician too. All right, well, happy May, and I hope you're having a wonderful month, and I will talk to you next week. All righty, take care, everybody. Love ya.